Okay, go. Hey, how's it going, everybody? You like my glasses? I like them. I picked these ones out to match with the Gundam mask. So, it's so obvious I'm in my bedroom. Why wear the mask in my bedroom? Because, I know in my last video I said I don't like beards. I've been growing this since November two th November 2019. And I keep the neck smooth and I keep the lips smooth. I think it's turning out really, really nice. I gotta comb it out a little bit later on. So, did you guys see the Buffalo Man on the 6th? I mean, I, I thought the year 2000 would be crazy, but oh my goodness, the Buffalo Man. They're getting ready to try and uh, approve the votes for Biden to become president. And a bunch of Trump supporters invade the Senate, and one of them was no shirt on, face all painted up, wearing buffalo skin and horns. I think the Simpsons did that joke, didn't they? It was, it was, it was really, wasn't it? <sighs> one of the guys stole the podium for giving speeches and and put it up on on eBay. I laugh, but it is very sad that five, six people lost their lives, including one of the uh, Capitol Police officers. I should find some type of proper stand for this. I'll uh, show off my cameraman later. So, okay. I got kicked out of Walmart on... December 25th, Christmas, no, not 25th, 24th, Christmas Eve of 2000. For the last year, and I've come up with different variations on the outfit, but it is black pants, bright red, blood red boots, and a very nice jacket. Look at this. This is not metal. This is all plastic. I even got my Starfleet insignia. And uh, you probably can't see it. But an uh, Autobot rub sign. You rub it and the Autobot insignia shows up. But most importantly. And part of why I got kicked out of Walmart. Is this. If you look inside. This is not a motorcycle helmet. This is a costume helmet. I've got filters in the vents, and when I put it on, it seals up around the side of my face well enough that these back vents lit in some air, but anything I breathe out is filtered along the side of my face. You probably can't hear anything I'm saying right now. If you can, that's awesome. So, I go into a Walmart wearing this outfit, and once again, bear in mind, for the whole year, nobody's hassled me. Now, I'll admit, a lot of the times, these are places that have known me quite a bit, they know I'm a regular, and I also, a lot of times, carry expired ID pinned to my jacket. One of the Walmart employees shouts at me hey we don't like helmets take the helmet off from like 15 20 feet away he he didn't walk up to me and say hey how's it going could you please take the helmet off hey how's it going nice outfit we really rather you not know he shouts at me from 15 20 feet away so i take it off and i put these on. We 
because I feel more comfortable covering my eyes up. I'm already pissed now because I feel like I'm being picked out and treated as if I've done something wrong when I really don't feel like I have. I really don't feel like I have. And I pick up a few things. I get stuff in my cart. I'm wearing the goggles. I'm wearing the jacket. I must look intimidating as all hell wearing fucking goggles. These broke later that same day, actually. That's why I went out and got these instead. I, I, I hope that, that, that sunglasses will be much more appropriate later on. I don't fucking know. Sorry, don't, don't swear. If there's any kids watching this, don't make that a habit, okay? Bad. I'm walking down the main aisle of Walmart. I don't remember rightly right now if I said what this story is about earlier on. This is me getting kicked out of Walmart. And as I'm walking down the main aisle, this dude walks by, sees my jacket. Dude, I like your jacket. I didn't actually snort, but I'm just thinking back on it. I like internally snort and I'm like, yeah, it'd be better if he let me wear my helmet. And then I see who I think is the manager. Way at the other end. He sees me coming like a hundred feet away. And thinking back on it, it's like, ah, oh, fuck. Should I cut out these long bits of silence? I don't know. I'll have to decide later on. So I kind of power walk up to him and I, are you the manager? I'm like in full Karen mode now. Probably should cut that part out right there. Yes. I want to understand your 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 mask policies. Like, well, we don't like helmets or things covering your face. Why? We want to see your face. You don't need to see my face. And at one point, I say you can see my face just fine. Well, you know, <clears throat> probably not. Nobody can see my face in this fucking thing. Because this is the way. Nobody can see my effing face in this thing because this is the way. Again, don't don't casually swear. I shouldn't be swearing. And he says, go ahead and put it on. And I say, you know what? I don't want to show you my face. He says he's done. And I say, I want you to see this. And I flip him the bird. He comes back in my face. Okay, you're just being belligerent. Get out. Me and him talks. And at one point, I actually try and back though. Like, you know what? Yeah, I'm being an asshole. I'm sorry. No, leave. Just get out. Okay, cool. Let's see, here's the thing. Okay, I wasn't consciously thinking this in the moment. Okay, and I didn't want to shop there anymore. I didn't want to shop there anymore. So fine, I start walking out. The moment I was told you can't wear your helmet, I didn't want to shop there anymore. Okay. The moment I walked in there, hey, take your helmet off. Fuck you. Mother blinking, mother blink. This is the way, damn it. He marches me out of there. He says something about if you come back and you're the attitude again, I'm going to trespass you. I call him the P word. I call him a pussy. Pussy. You need to grow up. Pussy. I walk off. I get in my car. I calm down. I leave. I go to the next Walmart. 
And I'm thinking, you know what? I don't want to deal with taking my helmet off and putting my goggles back on. So I put the mask on. I put the goggles on. I put the helmet over the goggles. I was like, you know what? Doesn't quite fit right. Let's adjust that. Doesn't quite fit right. Let's adjust that. Pull it off. Put it back on. Pull it off. Put it back on. Put it back on. Crack. Yeah. But the second Walmart had no problem with the helmet. No problem with the helmet. They didn't give a shit. Um. <coughs> and the only reason I took it off was because I was wearing the mask, the Gundam mask underneath the helmet and it fogs the helmet up after a while and you can't see for shit. It's hard to breathe in that thing. It really is. I actually had to go out and get a little wraparound fan thing to put underneath. I really haven't had a chance to try out yet. But I didn't want to shop there anymore. Here's the thing. I wasn't going to give them the satisfaction of me walking out on my own. It wasn't going to be, you can't wear the helmet. I don't want shopping here anymore. Forget you. You have not earned my miss. No, 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 no. They wanted to piss me off. They wanted to rock my boat. I wasn't going to get mad at the guy at the front door because he was an assistant manager. He was a manager of some kind because he wasn't wearing a uniform. Okay. He was a black guy, though. I'm not going to get into an argument with a black guy who's in management for obvious reasons. That makes me politically incorrect. That makes me discriminatory. You know, okay, cool, 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 fine, fine. I don't care about that right there. Whatever. Cool. I don't think I am, but whatever. What's <clears throat> let's, let's, let's just... Give that a moment to sink in and burn my career. Career in what? I don't fucking know. Don't swear. It's a bad habit to get into. So I got into an argument with the 50-year-old manager dude, who in my opinion should have been able to handle some dumb white guy flipping him the bird. His response should have been something along the lines like, Whatever, get the fuck out of here, sir. Just leave me alone, whatever. Go do your shopping. Cool, whatever. That's what I would have done. Like, okay, whatever. That's what I've done to guys I've gotten in on my ass at different places. I've gone back on the rest. That's why I've gone fired from different places. Don't stand up for your tough kids. If, if somebody feels they have the right to yell and scream at you, don't stand up for yourself. That's the lesson to be learned. That's the sarcasm right there, by the way. Sarcasm. You should stand up for yourself. But no, I made him kick my ass out. He wanted to disrespect me. His employee wanted to disrespect me. I was going to disrespect him. And the only reason he kicked me out is I haven't done anything wrong. He kicked me out because I offended him personally. Because I had attacked him personally. That's why he kicked my ass out. Am I making excuses for my behavior? A little bit, maybe. Was I an asshole? Oh, I was a fucking asshole. <laughs> I was intentionally an asshole, and I was having a ball. <laughs> Let's go ahead and cross that off the bucket list. Got kicked out of Walmart for insulting management. Start making that a regular. I have my notepad, right? I need to learn how to do editing. And what I can start doing is having like random pictures pop up over my head. So this is probably going to remain a fairly static background. You know, maybe eventually I'll get new wall scrolls and I'll start changing the wall scrolls. 
got a, another Ryoko one on the wall there, and I've got a cute bikini girl over here. What? <laughs> so, yeah. Got kicked out of Walmart. That was fun. Um... Yeah, I'm going to go and stop recording, get this uploaded, do some editing, cut out a few seconds here and there to make it easier to watch, kill out a little silence here and there. And yeah, again, any ideas for subjects, topics, let me know. Okay, thank you.